Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to review the Hulu Plus Live TV streaming service. It's $65 a month, comes with over 65 live channels, 50 hours of cloud DVR storage, and access to Hulu's large catalog of on-demand movies and TV shows. If you're seeing me for the first time, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. Some of you may be asking the question, why am I, Tyler the Antenna Man, reviewing a streaming service? While an antenna is a great idea for some of you, the fact remains that many people out there are simply unwilling to give up certain cable channels or do not want to put up an antenna for local channels. That's where a streaming service comes into play. Here's the Hulu Plus Live TV channel lineup as of April 2021. This lineup may vary depending on your area or if new channels are added in the coming months. The main $65 a month Hulu Plus Live TV package comes with up to 50 hours of cloud DVR storage. Additional hours can be purchased starting at $10 a month. This came as sort of a surprise to me since YouTube TV has unlimited cloud DVR included in their $65 a month plan. Setup is very easy. Just go to hulu.com forward slash live TV and click on start free trial. It will ask for some information, including a credit card or PayPal account. Note that Hulu will not charge the $65 until after the one week trial is over. After you add a payment method, Hulu will ask you to select your favorite genres, TV shows, and sports teams to give you a more personalized experience. Once everything is fully set up, download the Hulu app on your streaming device and sign in. Here's the home screen of the Hulu Plus Live TV streaming service. If you scroll down, it will display TV shows that are currently live along with on-demand content sorted by recommended TV shows, movies, unwatched recorded shows, and a few other categories. Under the Live tab, you'll find the Live TV portion. It defaults to the last channel that you watched. When watching live TV, I notice the picture quality is sometimes a bit low at first. Within a few seconds, a jumbled mess of pixels will appear and then the picture quality significantly improves. I never had this issue with YouTube TV on my 25 megabit per second internet service. The guide can be accessed by scrolling down. Note that this pauses a live TV channel, which sort of brings an unnecessary level of quiet. It defaults to showing only the most recent channels. You have to click on channels to see everything else. I'm not a big fan of the channels listed in alphabetical order. Most streaming services have the local channels at the top and then channels below grouped by category. Unfortunately, I have not found a way to change the order of the live TV channels and neither has the Hulu community. When selecting a channel, you have the option of watching it live or starting the program from the beginning. This is a really cool feature as most people don't usually discover a cool show is on right before it starts. Most shows had this option, but there were a few that did not allow me to start from the very beginning. As most of you probably know, you are able to pause, rewind, and fast forward any live TV channel. Within the guide, you can schedule to record upcoming TV shows. If you click on show details, it will bring you to a new screen where you can either record all new episodes or both new episodes and reruns of the particular program. If you scroll down on the same screen, it will show you any episodes available on demand. The My Stuff tab contains previously recorded shows, but the weird thing was most of the content was listed under the Manage DVR tab and not under the TV Shows tab. Under the TV menu, you can search for TV shows by genre, recommended, live now, popular, TV network, and a few other categories. Some shows have multiple seasons on demand depending on when they aired on a TV channel or if they're a part of the Hulu catalog. When watching shows on demand, the commercials are sometimes completely are taken out while other times there's a pre-roll ad at the beginning and ads in the middle, even if you try to skip around them. The movies tab is pretty self-explanatory. You can look up movies by genre, upcoming, and what's popular. I wasn't given the option to start a movie from the beginning if it was live, but I was able to rewind it. Note the same pattern of a lower quality video for a few seconds, jumbled mess of pixels, 
and good quality video. I'm not sure if this happens on all devices, but it definitely happened on my Amazon Fire Stick. The Sports tab is really cool. It shows what sports are currently airing and gives you the option to record upcoming games without having to hunt and peck through the guide to figure out what channel they're on and what time they're coming on. The Hubs tab is just sort of all content on one tab. There isn't much under settings. I was hoping they'd have the option to set the video quality, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So what's my overall opinion of the Hulu Plus Live TV streaming service? There are definitely pros and cons to it. Gaining access to Hulu's on-demand library is definitely a plus. You also get 65 live TV channels. However, I was not a fan of several things. You can only live stream on two devices at the same time compared to three with YouTube TV. Navigating through the endless tabs and sub tabs definitely takes time to get used to. I don't like how the live TV channels were listed in alphabetical order rather than by categories and one main menu layout. This is what people are used to with the local channels at top and then you scroll down and might see lifestyle and then sports. With this you kind of have to hunt and peck for certain channels. Most times when I watched a live TV channel, there was the same pattern of the low picture quality for a bit, jumble mess of pixels, and then improved quality. I'd expect this kind of issue from a cheap lower end streaming service, but not a big name like Hulu. I personally think that YouTube TV is better in terms of layout, functionality, and DVR experience. Still, I would recommend giving Hulu Plus Live TV a try to see if you like it. If it ends up replacing your $200 cable bill, that's money back in your pocket. Now, if you want even more money back in your pocket, maybe up to $2,000 a year, consider an outdoor antenna setup. Most people will receive between 30 to 50 live TV channels with better picture quality than cable or satellite. There's also DVRs available for antennas. When local channels are supplied with an antenna, you can sign up for a lower cost streaming service that doesn't have locals, like Philo TV for $20 a month or Sling TV for $35 a month. Feel free to use my YouTube channel as a resource to research antennas. I also offer antenna recommendations on my website at antennamanpa.com. Thanks again for watching this YouTube video. Huge thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support my channel while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates when I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attach a link in the description of my video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for less videos on streaming services and more videos on antennas, and have an awesome day.